A few days ago, one of our Jelvix developers, Peter, mentioned having a very strange dream. Quite a nightmare, in fact. In his dream, he had been to the cemetery, but not just a common one. It's the Cemetery of Development Solutions, and there was a funeral of Node.js, with a big grave dug open. It must have been a horrifying sight indeed, and Peter couldn't stop thinking of it ever since. Was it a prophetic dream, or just the outcome of overworked hours and a logical reaction to the overdose of caffeine? Is Node.js really coming closer to its deathbed already? being replaced by more hyped up solutions. And most importantly, should developers like him start considering the switch to some alternative? We at the Jelvix team could not stand our teammates' mental suffering, so we decided to investigate the topic together. We're Jelvix, a software development partner for industry leaders. We post weekly videos on tech in five minutes. Don't forget to subscribe and also use the super thanks feature to support our channel so we can deliver more great content. And if you'd like to learn why NASA's space mission and AI-powered music creation have more in common than you think, make sure you watch till the end of the video. So let's dive in. To start with, let's identify the top signs of a dying development platform. The Jelvix team members brainstormed for a bit and came up with the following red flags. Shrinking developer community, no sign of recent releases or feature enhancements, weak support with modern libraries or frameworks, and usage limitations. Let's review each of these factors to see if Node.js ticks all the boxes. Yet before we start, let's quick view the basics. Node.js is an open-source, cross-platform JavaScript runtime environment that allows developers to run JavaScript code on the server side. It was created by Ryan Dahl in 2009 and has gained widespread popularity in web development since then, mainly thanks to its efficient event-driven architecture, handling concurrent connections, and high-performing V8 JavaScript engine with a vast ecosystem of packages and libraries available through Node Package Manager. This all made Node.js a compelling choice for millions of developers. But what about now? Is the moment of fame gone for Node.js? Judging by the developer community, Node.js is still at its high peak of popularity. In 2022, it took the silver medal on the pedestal of the most used platform, being outrun by only React.js. The other industry statistics place Node.js in an even higher ranking position in terms of both employer and student learning trends. Our developers at Jelvix also speak highly of Node.js, acknowledging it for both its exceptional scalability, ease of use, and wide-ranging real-time capabilities. Besides, Google Trends also demonstrates a steady interest in Node.js over the last couple of years. So the verdict on number one, Node.js 1, Graveyard 0. But what about the tech stack updates that might keep Node.js up and running for the time to come? Well, with the latest Node.js release launched in 2023, the Node.js team doesn't forget to provide regular updates patches, and security releases. According to GitHub, every major version is actively maintained for 12 months and then is switched to the maintenance mode for another 18 months. So stay tuned, the next update might just be around the corner. Just like our regular new video releases, don't forget to subscribe to the Jelvix YouTube channel for the latest insight-packed content. Now, the next aspect the Jelvix team dug into is Node.js's compatibility with modern tools. As it turns out, Node.js boasts of a rich compatibility portfolio including containerization platforms like Docker, orchestration platforms like Kubernetes, build tools like Webpack and Gulp, package management systems, serverless computing tools, and CI-CD pipelines and tools like Jenkins, Travis CI, and Circle CI. All of this allows Node.js to stay relevant for contemporary projects. Node.js also integrates well with modern front-end frameworks like React, 
Angular, and Vue.js. So next time you stumble across the statement that Node.js is the platform of choice of modern startup heroes, well, now you know why it deserved the title. So here comes another score in favor of Node.js. Now let's dig a little deeper into the actual use cases of Node.js development. Are they somewhat limited? Are Node.js developers able to close multiple technical needs? Is Node.js trusted by famous brands and corporations? Well, Node.js can boast a star portfolio full of diverse, world-famous brands. Microsoft, Uber, Netflix, LinkedIn, Walmart, PayPal, BMW, New York Times, and even NASA use Node.js tech stack for one purpose or another. As Node.js experts at the Jelvix team state, the platform is considered particularly strong in real-time applications, web servers, APIs, and microservices. Yet, it is widely used way beyond that. Synform research illustrates the most common cases of Node.js usage, such as data streaming, web scraping, system monitoring dashboards, real-time notifications, and others. The cases vary indeed. Walmart uses Node.js to power its in-store robots. NASA used Node.js to support web applications and services for the Mars rover mission. Netflix applies Node.js to leverage real-time notifications on new series and episodes to watch. LG has integrated Node.js into voice-controlled appliances, including ovens, washing machines, refrigerators, and others, let alone data processing of 2.7 billion users, which Node.js handles for WhatsApp. Here's another jaw-dropping case. Taro Parvainen, a creative technologist and musician, used Node.js to create an interactive music composition based on Steve Reich's famous piece, Music for 18 Musicians. Taro was able to generate new musical sequences and arrangements with specific rules and patterns leveraged with Node.js. Sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? Long story short, when it comes to the usage limitations, there's no way Node.js can be accused of it, which makes Node.js earn another point in favor of its viability. So, summing up, in the dynamic world of technology, some solutions stand the test of time, yet for all of those wondering if the time of Node.js is running out, there seems to be absolutely nothing to worry about. Node.js benefits from a vibrant developer community, fostering collaboration, modern developer practices, and a steady stream of recent releases and future enhancements. So, long live Node.js. Actually, we have a great video on Node.js frameworks. Watch it for some insights of our developers. And if you're a Node.js fan like we are, support us, Jelvix, by liking this video and leaving a comment. And don't forget to subscribe and press the bell button. Bye for now.